Welcome, in this video I am going to be teaching you how you can use crazy games. In the first part of this video we will be discussing how you can play games on crazy games website yourself and in the other half we will be discussing how you can publish your own games on crazy games website and earn money. First of all we are going to go to the first part which is how you can play games on crazy games yourself. For this, first of all what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and open any browser in your system. Once you have done that, you're going to type into the search box for crazy games and then hit enter. After that, you should be able to see here crazy games website link on the top. So you're going to click on that. And once you have done that, you should be able to see here this kind of interface. Almost all of these games are free and you can just click on any of the games which you want to play. Once you have done that, you can just wait according to your internet speed until the game loads. And in the lower side of the screen, you should be able to see here some information about this game, like how many likes it has, how many dislikes, and if you want to add this game to your favorites, you can just click on this option. But for this, first of all, you must have an account. Although you can also play games on crazy games without an account, but for that, all of your data will be removed once you close your browser. So to save your information and data and also add some games to your favorites, you want to make an account. So for this, you're just going to click on login on the upper right side of your screen. And after that, you're going to click on join now on the lower right side of your screen. Once you have done that, you can just sign up by using any of these options. I'm going to go with Google. Once you have done that, you're going to pick a username for yourself. Just click on generate and then click on continue. Now if we talk about how you can publish your own games on Crazy Games website, for this there are many ways to creating games. But in this video, I'll be using a website called gdevelop. For this, you're going to go ahead and open a new tab in your computer and then you're going to type in here for gdevelop. Then you should be able to see here this website on the top, so you're going to click on that. Once you have done that, you should be able to see here this kind of interface. If you want to download gdevelop in your system, you can just click on download on the upper right side of your screen. Otherwise, you can also create your game on this browser. For this, you're just going to click on start creating your own game. And once you have done that, you will be taken over to a new tab. GDevelop offers many templates in advance and to check them out what you're going to do is you're going to click on build on the left side of your screen. Once you have done that you're going to click on browse all templates and after that you can just scroll down and choose any of these templates from here to publish your own game. For example I'll be using this one. Once you click on your selected game you're going to click on open and then first of all you want to create your account. So for this first of all you're going to click on create my account and then you can just type in here your username, the email and your password. After that they will ask you to confirm your email. So you're going to open email on a new tab and then you should be able to see here this email which you received from gdevelop. Once you see this you're just going to click on this link and then just wait a couple of seconds until your email has been verified. Once it is, you can just click on done and then you can click on create project. And once you have done that, you should be able to see here this kind of interface. First of all, you're going to take a screenshot of this image over here, which we will be using later in the video. For this, just type into the search box for a snip. And after that, you should be able to see here a snipping tool. Just click on that and then click on new. Once you click on new, you can just take a screenshot of this image right over here. And then just click on file, save as, and then save your image after renaming it. Once you have done that, you're going to click on share on the upper side of your screen. And then you're going to go with the option browser. Once you go with browser, you're going to click on HTML5. Once you do that, you're going to click on export as HTML5 game and then click on download the exported game. Then a zip file will be downloaded into your device. So now what you want to do is you're going to go ahead into the location where you have downloaded your zip file. You're going to move that zip file into a separate folder and then just right click on that and then click on extract here. 
After that, you're going to close this and move back to your browser. In here, you're going to open a new tab and then you're going to type in here for Crazy Games Developer and then hit enter. After that, you should be able to see here Crazy Games Developer Portal. You're going to click on that. Then click on Submit My Game. Again, you will first create an account over here. For this, you can just go with Continue with Google. Then you can just type in here your name. Now you're going to go with this option Submit a Game. In here, you're going to enter in the details of your game. To get the details, what you want to do is you're going to go back to the same tab of G Develop, close this, and then you're going to go with this logo on the upper left side of your screen. Once you click on this logo, you should be able to see here the option properties. So you're going to click on that and then you will get your game information. You're just going to copy this game name from here, move to the next tab and then enter that as the game title. As you can see here, the maximum length is 40 characters. So you can also remove some words from here. Next thing you want to select is your category. So you're going to do that and then you can just enter here your tags. The maximum limit for your game tags is 5. So you can just select any of these files from here and then they'll ask you to enter your description. To get the description, you're going to go back to the same tab and then if you have any game description over here, you can just copy that and then paste it over here. If you don't have any, you can type something out of yourself like I'm going to type in this description. And then you're going to scroll down and enter your controls. I'm going to type in some basic controls like left arrow, right arrow, up arrow and down arrow. Then you can just scroll down and then select here your game type. Just click on this, scroll down and then click on HTML5. Then you can check some of these options from here and scroll down. As you can see here, you have to provide the images in these resolutions. For this, you're going to open another tab and then you're going to type in here for resize image. You can use any of these resize images website and upload here the image which you took as a screenshot. Disable this maintain aspect ratio and then just enter here your width and height according to the required resolutions. After that, you can upload your images on Crazy Games website one by one. And once you have done that, you can scroll up back and in here, you're going to upload the HTML files. Just open the folder in which you save your HTML files and select all of your files excluding that zip file. Once you have done that, you can just move them to the browser. Then just wait until all of these files have been loaded. And once it's done, the final thing you're going to do is scroll up back and select here the orientation of your game. I'm going to select landscape. And after that, you can just click on save and continue. Then just click on continue to QA tools. And in here, you can also test your game by clicking on play now. Once you have checked that your game is all good, you can click on continue to last step. Then check this box and then click on continue anyway. Check this box again and then click on continue anyway. Then it's going to ask you the ownership of this game. So you're going to check this box and then click on submit for approval. And as you can see here, your game has been submitted. Then you can just click on back to my game. This way you can publish your game on Crazy Games website. You can always create your own game by other methods as well. And then you can publish that game on Crazy Games by this method.